Right lads, so it's just hitting sunrise. Absolutely no one around. So the plan is to get just up there. There's a few lakes. I've been looking at it now for the last year. So just wanna check it out. Try and catch a few trout. I heard there's trout up there. Um if we can catch a few and possibly cook them that's that's the goal if not you know i suppose it's the day out that counts right so straight away off the bat something i didn't prepare for <laughs> midges just parked the car absolutely swarmed with flies like <laughs> we're supposed to be parking just over here i just had to move the car down here to get ready because this should getting in your fucking eyes your ears so straight away snow down they're everywhere right. just started already out of breath oh, socks are soaking thank goodness i brought extra socks so it's up here and over we want to go it's about 200 meters we're not starting from sea level, so we're starting at about 200 meters already. So originally I thought it was 400 meters, but it's only 200 meters and I'm already in bits. So, like this is all rough idea. Like as soon as we get up there, it's just heading straight and there should be a block of lakes. Um, we're 15 minutes in, you know, um, Hoping to do it within an hour and a half. You know, should be nothing. Excuse me. So it's important to stay hydrated. Let's keep going. Right. So, just the car up there. Way tougher. Way tougher than I expected. We're nearly to the top of the hill now. Excuse the heavy breathing. I am in bits. We can do those push on. Is this one of those endangered Kerry slugs? I don't know, let's let me know what you think, if anyone knows. Go now. 40 minutes. Nearly. Nearly there. Just over the top there now and it should be level. The old uh, no. The old motor still there, and yeah. There she is. No one's taken her yet. But so far, so good. There we go. Look at that. Well, mountain deer. Let's hope I don't get fucking butted. We'll keep it going. So, just a quick update. I've conquered the hill anyway. I'm up in what I call the flat land. Nothing but deer around. It's probably a, a geographical name for the type of terrain I'm on, but do you know, 44 minutes to get up the hill. I'm still not there yet, so I got another 20 minutes to go, but at least it's flat and kind of downhill. Do you know, like I've had the conversation with the fiance last night and you know, I'm well aware that there could be absolutely nothing up here. There could be nothing. But uh, you know what I what I said to her was it's about the day out, isn't it? The fact we got up early, you know, drove here, parked, been walking uphill for forty four minutes, even though it's been a killer. So you know, my legs are aching already, chest. But is it worth it? 
so far it is so far it's very foggy too hopefully the, the fog don't affect it either but we'll keep going so nice. i'm on track i'm exactly where i'm supposed to be just a small bit off course but in the main vicinity that's what we call it so where we're going is a place called oh nearly fell down now so the land is not too bad it's kind of it's not marshy it's it's wet like it's wet and it's mushy slidey but it's firm solid ground there now but anyway we're we're a miles gap just outside Killarney and we're going to the glass lakes so there could be nothing there could be absolutely nothing here and it could be full of trout so there's a small runner run, river runs off it back down to the valley i think it flows into the the um the three lakes in the black valley so look i'm hopeful again it's the day out that counts like there's nothing there absolutely nothing there's five or six lakes we could try them there's nothing we can almost turn around still got enough time i'd say to go to the lake we're gonna park the car so that's the plan but it's absolutely stunning up here it's just me a few deer and nothing else a few carry slugs Some sort of a fucking trap. It's a cage. It was definitely an animal released, I'd say, but so there's nothing fucking mental up there. So we reach. So if we need, we just fly. Oh, Jesus! And fly. There's the river. Just up here, this little waterfall. Above that is the lakes. Where else would you get it, lads? Absolutely stunning. Stunning little river flowing through a valley. So, and a natural waterfall. Why would you bother want to go to Tark for the tourists? And you can come up here. Just takes an hour and a half. For me, anyway. So look, skip the river. I'm going to go straight up to the lake. of the day he's an absolute beast swallow the fly absolute beast biggest trout I caught so far let him go back down now give me a few minutes Ooh, good man. Oh, yes. That's it. That's it. Come on. He's going again. Oh. Monster of a thing. What a monster. Be absolute beauty. So, so far, they're very good. I don't know what these trout are feeding on up here, but they are absolutely massive. Over 13, 14 inches. Unbelievable fighters. Weighing in about a pound to two pound, two and a half pounds. Like, I don't know. They're taking bibios, March browns, all your traditional Irish lock flies. We seem to be losing more than what we're getting though. We got two absolute monsters, but we seem to lose more. We're going to go over here now and try this lake. See how we get on. Again, another amateur move about this day. No bug spray. There is flies everywhere. 
Just trying to keep them out of my ears and nose. You have an old stowaway. Off you go now, bye. Straight back in. <laughs> right, lads. Helicopter, I think. <sighs> Test them lakes, upper lakes, then. Very good. Didn't catch one yet to cook. Got two fine throw. Decided I'd even go. So the plan is now to get down to the lake down by the car, try and catch one, and start cooking with a helicopter. Someone up there. I hope they're not looking for me. I told her I had no reception. Right, so the catch and cook isn't going to plan, as you can see, the weather's turning. Try to collect wood, all the wood is wet. Lit one of the disposable barbecues as a backup plan, that went out. So we're gonna give it one last shot, and we'll see how we get on. If, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But we've had a great day, didn't we lads? Right lads, that's a wrap I think. Finished up here in the Gap of Dunlow, Black Lake it's called. Caught wine decent enough wine. But measured him, weighed him on the rock, and he jumped in the water. Pity as well, kind of disappointed. I wanted to do the catch and cook, even make coffee or tea, didn't kind of set any fire due to the weather. But uh, as always, next time.